Welcome to this special Cyber Monday edition of Stacker News. What did you miss last week in web dev? Last week, we built a crypto dashboard, taught ourselves to program, and found out if we need to know JavaScript before learning React. In this video, I'll highlight my favorite creators from last week. Maybe you'll discover some new content that you didn't know about, but there's even more news in the Stacker News newsletter. Click the link in the description below to sign up. All of the links mentioned will be in the newsletter. And even if you don't want to sign up, you can still access all of the links mentioned. This is Stacker News. The sponsor of this week's video is me. For the next 24 hours only, my VS Code Superhero course will be on sale for 75% off. If you want to use VS Code to its fullest potential and code faster, go check it out at vscodehero.com. Next in top news, Remix is now free with version 1. It's another interesting React framework. Vercel raised $150 million. Prettier 2.5 was released. And Redux version 8.0 is now in beta. Now onto the VS Code extension of the week. Give to-do highlight a try to highlight your to-dos, fix me's, and other keywords. Not only does it highlight them, but also has a list command that will make sure that you don't miss any before you deploy to production. Let's take a look at some events coming up. On December 8th, we have React Conf 2021. There are a ton of great speakers there. And on December 9th and 10th, we have GraphQL Galaxy 2021 with lots of amazing speakers. And I'll be one of the MCs, so don't miss it. Here are last week's videos in no particular order. In this video from Anya Kubo, she shows us how to make a crypto dashboard using two APIs. This is an entire project build, so be sure to check it out. Next up, Clement lets us know how to become a self-taught programmer. Is this even possible? Well, I'm proof that it is. Go check out this video to see how. Should you learn JavaScript before learning React? Well, maybe that's the wrong question to ask. Either way, Lee Robinson has the answer in his latest video. Next up, Kyle at Web Dev Simplified released a Mongoose crash course. Mongoose is a great way to work with a MongoDB database in Node.js, but it's pretty complex. In this video, he'll explain everything that you need to know about Mongoose, including the more advanced features that other tutorials don't cover. Speaking of MongoDB, did you know that you can now access your MongoDB Atlas database without even using a driver? It's true, you can now enable the new data API on your database, and you'll get a set of API endpoints for creating, reading, updating, and deleting. You can even use advanced aggregations. There could be a lot of potential in this for Jamstack applications. Check out this video to get a preview of how it works. Now onto articles, podcasts, and socials. A great article that I came across on Dev2 was Advanced JavaScript Design Patterns. For podcasts, go check out the latest episode of Compressed FM, where Amy and James talk about all things SVG. And over on Instagram, go check out this short carousel to learn some useful JavaScript ES6 array methods. Again, there's even more content in the newsletter. The link is in the description. If you missed last week's episode, go ahead and check that one out as well. I hope this was helpful. Like this video to help me out and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this.